What do you do, YouTube? Welcome to a day in the life of a UT Austin student in the summer. I just got out the shower. Give me a second to get dressed. It's currently 11 a.m. I woke up at 9.30 today. What I did is I checked my stocks and I checked my social media, uh, such things as my TikTok, which you should go follow on my TikTok. So I'll have that somewhere on the screen for you to do so. It's really all fun and games. I just post things for entertainment on there and to uh, drive traffic through there that eventually could funnel through to my YouTube channel. So don't take me serious on there. So anyways, guys, before I hopped in the shower, I went ahead and I popped one of these red pills. Let me show you why I call it a red pill. It's a red pill, guys. I got them on Amazon, Smarter, Smarter Vitamins, Caffeine, L-theanine, made with MCT oil, guys. I really enjoy these. To say the least about these, give a little a review for them. I've never taken one and I did not feel a little bit more motivated to get some work done uh, than I did if I hadn't otherwise. For all of those who follow my channel for fitness content, yes, I am dieting. Uh, his starting weight was 185. And let's see what I'm weighing in at today. 170.4, we're about to break into the 160s. The goal for this cut, when it gets shredded, is to go down to 165 or so and then see how I'm feeling there. Nice, slow, steady cut. Like I said, new low weigh-in, so it's a good day. Typically, when I'm in the shower, when I'm brushing my teeth, uh, getting my day started. I enjoy listening to stock YouTubers to get an overall consensus of what's going on. And uh, I really do enjoy watching their videos because they uh, follow the 80-20 rule, if you know what that is. Um, basically, they condense a whole bunch of information because obviously they do all this research to make their videos if they're a credible person. Uh, and I'll give y'all some people to watch after in a little bit if y'all are interested. But with that said, you still have to go ahead, do your own due diligence. I really like watching them kind of for an outline of what's going on and just to get uh, other opinions. I do watch several people. So today I watched three different YouTubers. I watched Financial Education, Jeremy. He's probably one of my favorite ones. He gives some solid info uh, like 99% of the time. Uh, I also enjoy watching Zip Trader and then uh, my boy Keenan Grace. Uh, they're all good uh, YouTubers that I recommend uh, to just about anybody. But with that said, this is not financial advice. Do your own damn research and... So I just got done doing a little bit of chores and managing my social media. And uh, it's currently 12, 30, three hours since I woke up. I typically don't like to have a big meal in the morning and I, and I prolong eating as, as to late as possible. So guys, I'm not taking any summer classes because I want to take this summer to learn about whatever I'm personally interested in. But guys, that includes things such as finance, the stock market, fitness, learning the science behind certain things, and uh, I'm actually developing a program that you guys will hear about soon. So I'm really educating myself on what I'm doing before I'm putting it out to you guys because I don't want to be one of these guys on here that that's just all talk. And as well as personal development, guys, spiritually, mentally, and physically, that is my key focus for this summer. So with that said, I'm currently on the laptop. I'm doing this options course. Not really a course, it's a video on YouTube, three hours long uh, by this uh, YouTuber, Project Finance. So yesterday I did uh, 48 minutes of it. Um, I'm taking notes simultaneously. Of course guys, I'm like, I'm not, you can't just passively watch and pay attention to this stuff and uh, Think you're picking up on everything like you gotta study you gotta pause it you gotta consume the knowledge because this is good knowledge guys like i was reading the comments and i agree too like some people will fucking hoe you and uh, they'll try to charge you hundreds of dollars for what this guy is giving for free on youtube guys all the information out there nowadays is free guys it's not like 20 30 years ago where you 100 percent had to go to college to learn this and that now the information is all out there it's just a matter of you going to go find it because it's not going to come to you oh yeah see i left off here at uh level two option price components for those of you who are interested in the stock market it's been about a year, a full year since I started investing and I'm about to let y'all in on a secret. 55% returns in that year to date. 
So guys, I'm not just, uh, I also don't want to give myself too much credit, although I will take some credit because I did that shit, but uh, keep in mind, I did invest at one of the greatest times uh, possible when the market due to COVID had tanked, but like I said, I have to give myself credit because when everything was just going lower and lower, people were pulling their money out, I was throwing my money in, guys. I was doing with the crowd, I was doing opposite of what the crowd was doing. I had been saving money, waiting for an opportunity because I knew at that point, everyone was saying stock market was too high, too high, da da da, and uh, COVID just so happened to happen, and pow, 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 I strike, guys. Yo, 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 it is break time. I got me a lean cuisine, pepperoni pizza, and by the way guys, every like 30 minutes to an hour, I'll just go step outside, hang out there for a minute or two, catch some fresh air, recoup, and then I'll come back in here and get back to it. So I just finished my meal. In an hour 30 or so, it'll be time to hit the gym after we let that food digest. You don't wanna be going to the gym on a full stomach. After having a meal, I would recommend you wait at least an hour before going to the gym, guys. When food is sitting in your stomach and your body is trying to break it down and digest it, you do not get as effective pumps, guys. Just wrapped up my options course. Honestly, 10 out of 10. I already had some prior knowledge on options, um, but it was still a great course. The first hour really goes through the basics, the four basic type of, types of options. It's currently uh, about to be 4.30. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read one of my books, the Intelligent Investor. I'm gonna read a couple pages, read for at least 30 minutes. It's 6.30, just pulled up gym parking lot. I'm gonna get my mind right. I've been caged up at home all day, and it's time to go crazy, man. All right, all right, back from the gym where we're working with. I got some uh, beef and lamb right here. I'm gonna throw over this rice right here. I got this from Halal Bros uh, down in Austin a couple days back. Body eat post workout Mediterranean plate. And I also got some raspberry lemonade watered down. And watch me a little financial education, because why not? Sometimes I'll watch me like playoffs going on right now. Sometimes I'll watch some basketball. Sometimes I'll watch some fight hype, something related to boxing. But stock market is pretty damn entertaining to me. So that's what it is for right now. All right, YouTube. Real men take two showers a day because we put in work, baby. Just got out the shower. I'm not even gonna bullshit you guys. I'm tired. I, my whole body is sore and I only got like five hours of sleep last night because for some reason I couldn't sleep. I ended up going to sleep like at four. I was actually up editing a TikTok video. I don't know. My mind was just running ideas and shit, you know, plans and and yeah, I was laying in bed and I got up and I hopped on the computer and I was on there for a couple hours until I fell asleep. And then I woke up, like I said, guys, at like 9.30, 10 today. And so, yeah, I'm exhausted. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna edit another TikTok that I'm gonna upload probably right now, if not tomorrow morning. I'm gonna stretch out real good. It's currently 10 o'clock, I believe. It's about to be 10, five minutes to being 10 o'clock. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today. Uh, as I took you through my day and showed you all what I'm doing and dropped a couple of tips here and there as I can't wait to be in campus I'm gonna be moving down uh, to UT in August uh, But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one Be great boom